Moodle has a very neat way of organizing your files for your students to browse simply. For example, here I've got three files that I want my students to access. Let's go into Moodle and let's create a place for those files to go. This time I'm going to use the Files option under Administration to manage this. So I click there and up comes the familiar Files box. But what I'm going to do this time is make a folder into which I'm going to drop those files I showed you a few seconds ago. Let's give this folder a name. And let's create that folder inside this files box. Now remember, the students can't see this yet. And also, there's nothing in there. So I'm going to put those three files into this folder. To do that, click on the folder itself to make it the, the current folder. And surprise, surprise, we choose upload a file. And as you must be, I've done a few times by now, we're going to browse my local computer to find the files I want. Here they are. Let's start with the first one. And upload this file. And then it comes. So there's the first file inside this folder. Choose the next file. Upload a file, browse, and let's choose this time Psychology of Illusions. Upload. And there's two files there. Now before I go any further, let me show you how I'm going to arrange the files for the students to see them. As I said, so far the students can't see these files. So how do you go about making sure the students can see them? Well, the answer is very simple. You create a directory into which the students can have access. So to do that, turn editing on. I'll add the resources here. So it's add a resource. And this time we're going to choose display a directory. Now, you've done this a few times before. Let's give this resource a name. And a summary as well. And now we pick which folder we want the students to see. And what you do is you pick the folder into which I've just dropped those two files. There it is. Scroll down and save changes. And they're the two files that are so far available that I've uploaded so far. Now what the student sees is this. Let me just turn editing off. They see a folder called Optical Illusion Resources. And inside there, when they click on the, the file, the folder, they see the two files that have been uploaded. Now, there were three files. Now, up to now, of course, if you're uploading a file, you have to give it a name, a summary, and create a, a resource every time. But with this way of doing things, you, the tutor, can add a file to that folder at any time without having to go through that process. So let's do that. Optical Illusion Resources. Upload a file. Browse. And choose the last one, Visual Illusions. So you'll be doing this process of uploading a file lots and lots of times in Moodle. File uploaded successfully. Let's go to the home page. 
So there's no apparent change there, but when the student next clicks on that folder, there are now three files. So it's a very neat way for you to organize your files for your students to access.